Hey everybody, this is Stephanie, and um, I'm here with just a real short little video, uh, mostly because I have been looking online um, to find stamp storage to see if there's anything differently than I want to do with my stamps, and um, I kind of figured out that what I do right now is kind of the cheapest and the easiest for me, and I wanted to share um, some of the things that I do for my stamps. I live on a budget. Um, I'm a single mom and so uh, everything I do, <coughs> excuse me, I think about budget. So I wanted to just to share, I don't have a large collection, but um, it seems like it's growing uh, rapidly. But I want to show you some things that I do to store my clear stamps and my um, rubber stamps. First of all, I'm going to show you my rubber stamps. I'm going to put the, my hand over the camera just so nobody gets dizzy. Um, I actually found a shoe container, a shoe, I'm not even sure what you call these things. Um, you put a shoe pouch, I guess. You put your shoes in them and hang them in the closet. Um, I found this at a flea market for $4. And it has the clear see-through pa uh, pouches and I use this for my rubber stamp storage so um, and I keep it hung on the back of my door and um, it's you know very easy to find a rubber stamp that I'm looking for um, I'm going to go back to my desk again this is on a budget crafting on a budget so <clears throat> now the next thing I do and I have seen, I have heard people say this, I don't know that I've really seen it done, but um, I took old CD covers, I went through my CDs and just pulled out a bunch of CDs that I really didn't want anymore or maybe that I didn't feel like it was necessary to have the covers. And so what I did was I emptied everything out of the CD case, took a piece of cardstock, stamped every stamp in a certain package and then I either taped uh, or glued or however I adhered the uh, the piece of cardstock that was stamped to the CD case so that um, and I also put who the maker if I knew who the maker of the uh, stamp set was I did this because to me a lot of times when you look at what is on the back of uh, the stamp or um, if you look at the acetate that the stamps come on, it just doesn't seem like it's always the exact same image. I don't know. Um, so I thought this would be a good way for me to actually look and see, well, what does it look like when it is stamped? So, um, <clears throat> like here's my Inka Dinka Doo stamping gear um, set and I've just you know I've stamped each image like I said I don't have a lot of stamps um, but this seems to work for what I do have um, and uh, you'll see there was no name on this is because these were all a little mis miscellaneous a lot of them were like dollar stamps uh, that I picked up at Joann's or Michael's but they're stamps that I liked and you know I thought someday I'd have a use for um, if I did know the stamp, you know, if I did know the maker of the stamps, I put it on. Some of them I had already thrown the packaging away. Um, sorry, I'm getting off focus here. But anyways, and so then, in addition to that, I also have this little suitcase, and these are, uh, believe it or not, Xbox game cases. Um my son has an Xbox and from time to time um, I dumpster dive so I can pick up some Xbox game cases so these this is the same idea you can see the stamp set is in there and I have you know written Inka Dinka Doo on here and I've just basically stamped everything that I have um, this is a Tim Holtz set um, I just think it looks differently when it's actually stamped and so I liked the idea um, the Jennifer Ellery 
I liked the idea of being able to see, well, what does it look like when it's actually stamped on paper. So, um, anyways, that's a real quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys because I know I've, I have seen some other videos out there, and like I said, I have a very, very small collection of stamps compared to the ones I've seen, but everything that I do is pretty much on a budget, and so this was a very, very inexpensive way for me to keep my stamps. I didn't go out and buy, you know, bags, the nice bags to put my stamps in. Um, actually, I got this little suitcase, very, very cute, out of a dumpster. Um, and it was brand new, and it, it was still had the tag on it. And um, I got this basket out of a dumpster. And so, um, and actually, a believe it or not, a couple of the sets of stamps came out of the dumpster, brand new. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to show what you can do on a budget. You don't have to go out and buy all the different racks and, um, you know, the different bags. You really can store this stuff uh, at, a, at a nominal cost. So, anyways, uh, just want to share. Thanks. Bye-bye.